Welcome back carpers. As promised. Carp reserve. Let me just show you this peg quickly. Yeah, really wanted to fish this swim. But uh gonna give this one a miss. But yes guys, as promised, back down to carp reserve. Had a wicked session in linear, didn't we? We've got that 30 pounder out. Really good blank saver that was. Um, I was drying my gear for a good week afterwards. It was absolutely ridiculous. Couldn't sit it up outside because it was just raining still. But yeah, back down to carp reserve. Um, not been down here for about a month. Um, spoke to a couple of guys last night when I come down and by all accounts so they've said there's only been like one fish out so there's not been a lot coming out but it's October it's autumn time and it, everybody knows it's big fish time all the big girls come out autumn time because they're all getting fed up for the uh, winter trying to get all that food in so they can you know sit up for the winter so yeah, about down here, got 48 hours. Um, gonna be fishing with Asbo and Asbo only. No spod mix, nothing else, just 18 mil Asbo uh, freezer bait. Got them out of the freezer yesterday, they've been air drying for about a day. So yeah, gonna give that a little go. Um, if all else fails, we've got some, we've got loads of different pop ups to use, but. I've chose the peg I want to be in, uh, going in the gravel bar. You can see from my previous videos, um, I was in there for that week I was supposed to go to France. I went in there, um, unfortunately didn't catch anything. So yeah, right, I'm going to get all my gear set up and um, give a shout soon. See you later. Hello carpers, welcome back. Rods are out, bivy is up. As you can see guys, I've only gone for two rods. Still got this to sort out. Um, right, I've been in this swim before. Um, I know there's a nice clear spot over there to the pads and a nice clear spot over there. Um, my aim was to cast over there because I sort of roughly knew where it was. Um, without using the boat, so I didn't want to go out there and make a commotion. Um, but yeah, um, that left down rod, it must have been a, a fair bit of weed moved over it and it took me a few casts to try and find it and after about five casts, six casts, I couldn't find it. So, I'll, as you can see, went and got the boat, but I'm happy. Got my rigs out in two decent spots. Nice little gravelly spot over there to the reeds. As you can see, I've got my rods high so I can get my line over all this scum straight down to my bait. And this right hand one is over to there, it's on a bit of silt. So I've decided to go with a nice, nice weedy, silty coloured uh, leader. Got my Ronnie rig on both, the old Asbo wafters with a little bag of asbo boilies around it only about like five or six just in a little bag look if you had smell of vision guys that'd be lovely nice nice fish meal flavor but what i've also done over them two spots i've uh chucked a few out just scattering them about with a throwing stick not 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 close or nothing, just scatter them about, just to keep them moving about if if they are in the area. So yeah, I'm happy with them. Gonna leave them out, not gonna touch them at all. Um to leave a, a swan, duck, or a fish get some. But yeah. Hopefully, guys, we might bag a PB out of here. As I keep saying, there's plenty in there. That's why, it, that's why it keeps drawing me back. Absolutely love this place. Although I've only had two fish, I love this place. 
it's it's hard. It reminds me of an old place I used to fish just down the road called the Garrison. It used to be like this, a bit smaller. Had some gems in there, but I had all the gems out my first season, so I didn't really see the point in fishing it again. But the big common in here. It's last out 36.9, I believe. Um, so yeah, give it a year or two. That's going to be a 40, so I'm going to stick to this syndicate. I'm going to keep piling the bait in. Well, not piling the bait in, but putting the bait in. Um, yeah, hopefully should get my PB out of here. And maybe next year, or the year after, might even get a 40. Just remember, guys, every time you're out in a boat, life jacket is a must. Never forget your life back jacket never go out in a boat without one safety first remember guys all right i'm going to get all this stuff sorted out get the old bivy sorted out as you can see got my old inner capsule in uh, last time i was at uh, where was i our oh, linear manor farm got a bit chilly during the night so i just thought i'd bring that this time just to take the chill off uh, don't want to wake up in the middle of the night and you know, be a bit cold. Alright guys, I'll see you later. Tight lines, stay safe. Hopefully, we'll have a fish. And also, hopefully, there will be no... Oh, see a bit of fish movement over there. I don't know if you can see that. Ah, probably not. Yeah, a bit of fish moment over there. But yeah, hopefully, all this COVID, hopefully it's all going to disappear soon. Um, same as you guys, I've had enough of it now. I uh, just want things to go back to normal. Um, I know they're talking about another lockdown, all these free tiers and everything. But hopefully it will not come to that and hopefully it will not affect our fishing. Right, I'm going to stop jibber jamming. I'm off. See you later. Bye. Good morning, Carpers. Oh, weather's a bit different today, isn't it? Consider two weeks ago at Linear, it was absolutely pissing it down all weekend and we couldn't get outside and do no filming whatsoever. But look at this, stunning. It's got a bit, a bit of a chill in the air. Um, I had to put my old jacket on, a cup of tea, it's all good. Uh, look, stunning bit of water. As you can tell, nothing's happened. I uh, spoke to a couple of people around the lake, um, they've had nothing either. Um, it's quite strange because they said no nothing's coming out, you know, um, not seeing no fish or nothing. Um, I mean the water has dropped a little bit, maybe that spooked them. Um, temperature's not dropped that much to spook them, you know, just shut them down. Um, but they're definitely in here. Um, I've had a little look around and other people have looked around in the boat and have not seen no fish but as you can see behind me coming from here all the way around to there um, it's quite a big section of this surface algae weed whatever you want to call it you know maybe they're sitting under that that's why I've, that's why I've got my two boats literally on the edge of that or tips up high yeah Yeah, guys, just become a team member of uh, Club Cup. Don't know if you've uh, seen it on YouTube or Facebook, but if you haven't, get yourselves over there. Some really good, informative tutorial videos. Um, used to be called Boily Belly TV, you must have seen that. But yeah, Club Cup, um, it's, it's a subscription um, club basically 10.99 a month 
and every quarterly, so every three months, they send you a, uh, a box set of tackle and all stuff, fishing related stuff to that season that you're in. So you've got your spring, summer, autumn, uh, winter. So, so yeah, so I think it works out about just about forty pounds for your quarter. And inside that box, like I said, you get everything you need for that time of year's fishing. So yeah, it's all kind of brands. You get loads of stuff in there, hooks, you know, you, you might get all sorts of terminal tackle. Everything, like I said, everything you need for that season fishing. You might even get a beanie, you might even get a t-shirt, who knows. Uh, first one comes out in November. Um, so head on over to Club Cup and start your subscription i think the first one comes out in november so that will be your winter box um i only just joined myself so as i know more i will let you know more and uh, like i said check out their videos don't forget to like and subscribe to my video also and in the future you'll probably see me on there see you later guys gonna enjoy this tea hopefully back a carb Hey up carbers, midday update, midday update, get that right, um, nothing's happening in this corner, um, I sort of said yesterday I might move, you know if nothing happens in this corner I might move, um, yeah it's got to 11 o'clock, I'm thinking there's, there's five people on this on this side so I thought you know the other side is probably a bit quieter uh, I went round to Hobbits or Waybar which I wanted to sort of fish um, didn't see anything so I thought sod it I reel in um, get in the boat and go and have, have a look over there quite quietly you know um, just so as it as I'm going over someone else is going over in the boat uh, four eyes are better than two you know uh, which is good in a way because uh, he saw a nice big 30 swimming off from Hobbits, so that sort of made my mind up a little bit, so I didn't personally go into that into that bit of water, so, but he's seen it. So yeah, I'm going to uh, have a little slow pack down, well, have a pack down and get over there. Now, the good thing about this little swim, well, this lake in general, is uh Gonna try and get most of it in the boat and uh, paddle over there. <laughs> right, guys. Oh, just found that on the floor. Stick that in the bin. But yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, like I said, I haven't seen nothing over here. Oh, I wanted to move. I didn't want to stay another 24 in here. But yeah, we've, we've seen a fish. Um, I mean, the way it's going, I'm not. Hoping to, well, I'm hoping to catch a fish, but I'm not banking on catching a fish because um, it's been really slow lately. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna see you later. Take a little video when I've set up. See you in a bit. And welcome back, carbers. We are finally set up. Got the rods out. This is the new swim called Hobbit Hobbits. Take you down. Got three rods out this time because I found. Oh, that sun's come out, it's lovely. Yeah, I found three decent spots. Got this right hand one, Litchy, where that stump is. Probably about a rod length past that to the left a little bit, it's a nice little gravelly spot. Uh, little tiny post there, I don't think you can see it. Yeah, just to the right of that, there's a nice little sandy spot, so that's obviously been uh, been fed on. And just in that gully there, literally about half a rod left, rod left towards me, it's a nice clear spot, spot of there, clear spot there as well. So we've got, got them all on three clear spots, they're going to stay out there now until we either catch a fish or we go home tomorrow. But yeah, spoke the fish just round that corner as I was out in the boat. So there's definitely fish in the area. Good thing about this, got the old bivy behind the trees. Yeah, and we've still got 
all this area here to work with, you know, pictures of fish and all that lot. See, it'd be nice to keep this bivy out of the way. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's been fishing really hard, guys. Yeah, look at the car park. Look. Yeah, it's been fishing really hard. Uh, I'm not expecting to have anything, but we've made the right choice. We've moved, we're where the fish are. It's the first time we've seen fish. So, fingers crossed. Remember guys, we're uh, 180 subscribers away from hitting that magical thousand. And the offer's still open guys. Gonna do that compulsive angler mad baits giveaway. Set of eight compulsive angular pop-ups, various different flavors. But they are a killer, an absolute killer. Right, I'm gonna uh, sort the rest of my gear out. I'm gonna have my fingers crossed, my legs crossed, and that's about it really. Yeah, we're gonna have all them crossed. Hope hoping for a carp. See you later guys. So that's tight lines, stay safe. Good evening carpers. Nothing to be had yet. Um, just found out after reading on Facebook that it's a new moon tonight. And often I don't really follow the moon phases and all that lot, but a lot of people do and a lot of people swear by it. So fingers crossed. October the sixteenth, no moon. Let's hope. We're in the right area. Sin fish. Sin bloody big fish. Well, I didn't personally, someone else did, but there's fishing in the area. All my spots are good. Got all, all three out on Ronnie Riggs. Um, all three of them out on Wafters. I've decided to go with a Pandemic Wafter. A wicked White, wicked White's Wafter, which we caught on here, didn't we? Uh, we had that fish called Oldie. And the other one we've got on the Asbo. So we've got three different flavours out. But over over three rods, over all three rods, we've got um we've got Asbo chucked out. 18 mil Asbo. Uh a little tiny bag of about five, you know, in a nice nice mesh bag around the hook. And then I'll probably scatter about 10 15 boilies, you know, around so fingers crossed. Remember, guys, Norton Disney, yes, absolutely looking forward to that. Your mad bait social, uh, I think that's in about three weeks' time, absolutely can't wait for that. And also, December the 18th, we are off back down to Linear. Uh, we're doing a Christmas special with Club Carp. Can't wait to do that. Uh, I believe we're on Hunt's Corner. Uh, be nice to actually um, get out, see the team, see the uh, see the owners and that, meet up with them. Get some footage. Should be good. Hopefully, I'll be using my new camera. Not used it yet. But I do get good quality on this, but it's going to be better with the new camera. Just got to get a few more bits for it. But yes, hopefully we're going to see you in the night. Well, in the morning. See if I catch a whacker. It's going to sling it up to the morning. It's nice and deep out there, so... Well, depends. We'll, we'll see. We'll play it by ear. I don't really like slinging fish, you know. To be fair, if it's not raining or nothing, um, I'll probably just set all my lights up in that air, you know, keep it in the, keep it in the net while I get everything set up and, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. Right. Hopefully, there's no moon. Fingers crossed, we're going to get a fish. 
like I said, I do, I do mind blanking on here, but I don't mind blanking on here because it just makes me more and more determined to get back down here because I know there's big fish in here and I cannot wait to get my hands on them. Um, although I like going to other places for growing my YouTube channel so I can show you guys all the other lakes that are around the UK and what other fish are about, I hate not coming back here just because I know what's in here and my time will come it's just a matter of time I'm going to be sitting there holding that nice big 30 plus PB smashing carp can't wait alright I'm going to stop jibber jabbing see you later Well, good morning carpers, unfortunately no fish, but it's not over yet, I'm trying to be as quiet as I can, because as you can see that water is very 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 still, and every now and then near my spots, I can, it's 100% there's fish about, because you can see the movement in the water, they're not little fish, they're definitely the bigger fish. So there's definitely fish about, because they keep getting spooked when uh, like the birds fly over or anything like that. They get a little bit spooked, and that's, you know, you can see the little bow waves. But that's fishing for you guys. We can't catch every time we go. And if we did, it would be boring. I know for a fact it would. And like I keep saying, it just makes me more determined to come back to this place. Because I've seen them in here. And there's some big fish, and we will have one for you to see soon, folks. So stay tuned to this channel, because you will be seeing a nice big 30 coming out of this lake with me holding it. Well, carpers, it's coming to that time. I'm going to have to start having a slow pack down. I don't know if you can see. There's like a little gully goes, a little channel goes around there, and a little channel goes around there. There's a little island here. And you can't really get round the back of there to fish. But I just heard one almighty big crash. That was a big fish. So they're definitely in the area, but they're not biting at all. Um, everyone's scratching their heads, you know, wondering, you know, this is supposed to be the prime time of the, of the year for, you know, carp to be munching and filling their bellies ready for the winter. But yeah, like I said, everyone's scratching their head. And um, yeah, just can't work out why. I mean, people have been going out in the boat, and there's someone has been chucking in loads of tiger nuts, like kilos and kilos. And that is not good for the carp, because obviously they get stuffed on them really quickly. So yeah, we're guessing, you know, the carp ain't hungry. They're all fed up, their bellies are full. So, if I don't see you again, guys, I will be seeing you at Embryo, Norton Disney, in two weeks' time for Mad Bait Social. Uh, I believe there's about 41 of us going. Um, don't even know what lake to go on. I mean, I have got some good tips and spots. Thanks to Joshua Bland and Eric. If you're watching, thank you guys. Them notes will be, them tips will be noted, and I will be trying to get on Pettis Lakes. But yeah, remember guys to subscribe to this channel. Head on over to Club Cup. Check out what they've got going on. And remember guys, head on over to Mad Baits and Monster Particle. See what they've what new things they've got coming out. I was going to talk about the Mad Baits one, but I'll save that for the Mad Baits social. But yeah, remember to follow, like, and subscribe to this channel and on Facebook and Instagram, Jedi Garba. <sighs> well, 
better luck next time. In in ways, I wish I could not go to this Norton Disney and put all my time in here, but you know, I love going to different lakes, as you know. I mean, I've been to a fair few different lakes this 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 year, and it's been good. Had some beautiful fish out. But I'm still not happy because I want a big girl out of here. And it's gonna come. Right guys, I'll see you all later. If I see you soon with a fish, if not, I'll see you at Norton Disney. Peace.